M0FXB, welcome to my channel. And it looks like we've got the Pico APRS VHF APRS transceiver here. And I think it's the first one in the UK that I've ever seen opened. So it's just come, let's get it open. Now, the reason I've got it next to my FT5D is because that's what I always use for APRS and I just thought it made sense. So let's open it up. It is a very small device. It's been invented and created from the beginning by Tana. And the call sign is here in this website that we're looking at here, which is APRS version four by Tana Delta Bravo one November Tango Oscar. And it transceives APRS, but it will also act as a normal transceiver. We've got some photographs here of it. It's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's, it's like a matchbox size, uh, matchbox size. You've got your sort of control button here in the middle, you toggle it up and down, PTT on the side. And it says here, Pico APRS version four is an amateur radio device designed for use in the two meter amateur radio frequency band. And it goes on to talk about KISS, TNC, then APRS, Winlink Global Radio Email, APRS, iGate, APRS FI, and on and on. And it's just packed with functions. So I'm just gonna unbox it here and then we'll do some close up videos as well. But I just wanted to do the very first unboxing and it's uh, it's come actually from Wimo in Germany so thanks very much to Wimo and I believe they they actually manufacture this product themselves uh, for Tanner so it does not come with an antenna and you can see there's my finger next to it so I just quickly turn it on I'll put an antenna on I've got a few lying around here and you can see the type that it is like so, and then we'll do a close up, turning it on and going through the functions. But just for now, for this video, apparently you hold down for three seconds and it comes on. Wow. And I'm gonna, I need to teach myself how to, you know, it's searching for GPS straight away. Interested to know if it would find one. You've got USB-C charging here. What's the charge at the moment? It's about half. So at the back, the battery, see if we can open that. There's your battery there. Okay, just leave that off for a minute. Oh, look at that. So when the battery comes off, it actually turned off. That's clever design. Put that back on. Try to put it back on. There you are, so it's all quite tensioned into place. There you are, it's held in now. Still searching. So back later, this is just an unboxing. You, you basically don't get an antenna. Well, to turn it off, I just accidentally press the middle and you get the option to turn it off. It's not said by there. It's not a touch screen. Um, so yeah, funky little device. Turn it back on again. And in comparison to the FT5, I'll leave it for a while and see if it finds it. So bye for now, 7-3, all the best.